We can all agree that food, shelter, and water are among the basic needs necessary for survival. Sadly, many in our society today do not have adequate resources to meet um, these basic needs and the lack of these basic needs contribute to a number of societal issues that negatively impact individuals and communities more broadly. Adequate housing or shelter is one of these issues. Adequate housing not only provides for safety and security for individuals and families, but supports the maintenance of health. The absence of affordable accessible and adequate um, housing contributes to health issues, chemical dependency, and crime. And the impact of these um, things go far beyond individuals, but also lead to the deterior deterioration of our communities. That is why it is so important that we call on local, state, and federal governments to build and mandate that affordable housing be made available in designated areas that are prospering. According to the National Low Income Housing Coalition, there is no state where a renter working minimum wage can afford um, a two bedroom apartment. Affordable housing should be seen as necessary as a necessary requirement for life, especially for those who are low income. An affordable quality home is critical to individuals and families' physical, mental, and developmental well-being. Let's first learn about what affordable housing is and who needs it. Next, I will talk about their importance and how they contribute um, economically. And finally, I will talk about how it affects those who need it. So what is affordable housing? The general rule of thumb is that housing should cost no more than 30% of their income. No one should spend 30% of their income on housing. 20 years ago, that number was 23%. 10 years ago, it was 26%. For lower income families, this number is significantly higher. According to the NLIHC, 75% of all extremely low income families um, are burdened with paying more than half of their rent to of their income to rent. That leaves them with 50% left to pay their pay their paycheck to pay for anything else that is necessary. This is simply not enough for anyone, let alone families, to survive on. No, no family or individual should be left to choose between paying rent or buying groceries or healthcare. Moving on to the importance of affordability of housing. Housing prices are simply rising faster than income. Lower income families have historically struggled with housing, but now the crisis is also starting to hit middle class families as well. Affordable housing is needed by more people than you would think. Essential workers such as teachers, firefighters, and police officers are not as sought after because people know their wages may not be able um, to sustain safe, decent housing with a mode of transportation and a healthcare facility um, in a reasonable distance, which in turn makes it hard for local school districts to recruit teachers. The government has also stopped funding affordable housing projects and let them run down. Affordable housing can bring down problems related to surroundings. Um, surroundings, poor health conditions can be linked to a wide range of um, conditions such as asthma, lead intoxications, mental wellness, respiratory infections, and more. For this reason, and Krieger and Higgins in 2002 expresses that each year in the U.S., 2,900 people die in house fires, 3 million people make emergency room visits for asthma, and 1 million young children who have blood le levels high enough to adversely affect their intelligence, behavior, and their evolution. Underfunding and delivered policy choices have only worsened the housing affordability crisis. Home ownership is ultimately most important most people's preferred housing choice because it builds wealth. Homeownership provides families financial security and predictable monthly cost, as well as assets that can be passed from generation to generation. Lastly, I will talk about how much of an impact affordable homes play into society. According to American Progress in 2019, the U.S. had a shortage of 7 million affordable homes for low-income renters. As a result, there are only 37 affordable rental homes for every 100 low-income renter households. The ever so widening gap between what people make and the cost of living has a heavy impact on intergenerational poverty and can reduce economic mobility and reduce childhood poverty. It has been proven that increasing access to affordable housing is a more cost-effective strategy for reducing childhood poverty rates and increasing economic mobility. Ultimately, stable living conditions for children are more likely to thrive in schools and have access to better opportunities to learn. 
Stanford economist Raj Chetty found that kids who moved away from low-income neighborhoods saw their earnings approximately increase 31%, and they have an included likelihood of living in better neighborhoods as adults. Policymakers at the federal, state, and local levels can further address the crisis in housing affordability by making additional capital investments in housing and taking related actions, including reducing the shortage of affordable rental housing, implementing a housing developer-focused renter's tax credit, and reversing restrictive local zoning practices. These are just some of the steps that are needed to take, be taken in order to decrease the number of people who have to go their whole lives surviving on each paycheck just to put away half of it to rent. To conclude, housing is a huge contributor to reducing intergenerational poverty and increasing the access to affordable housing, ultimately increasing economic growth. It allows families to be able to afford things such as providing nutritious meals, maybe getting a private tutor, getting health care, or even a new family car. Strengthening families strengthens our communities. Strong and prosperous communities are safer for everyone, and that is something we should all care about. And just overall allows for more financial freedoms for families, which in turn paves the way for more investments in businesses, which spurs our ec economy and the b benefit everybody. I implore you to learn more about the housing crisis and start by going to your local policymakers to help ensure everyone can sustain an affordable living. Reach out and stress the severity of the lack of affordable housing. This in turn allows for homeownership with the goal of making assistance available to everyone who is eligible.